With the release of the original spot cam all the way back in 2015, we saw one of the only Wi-Fi home security cameras offering free 24-hour cloud recording. Well, the newly released SpotCam EVA 2 is here, and it still includes free cloud recording, as well as some excellent new features like pen and tilt, motion tracking, two-way audio, and it works with Alexa and Google Assistant, making this one of the best options to consider in 2021, all for only $49. Hey guys, my name is Jake Bacon and welcome to the MakeUseOf.com review of the SpotCam EVA 2. This little guy has 1080p HD recording with 130 degree field of view, pan control up to 345 degrees and tilt control up to 90 degrees, two-way audio like a walkie-talkie, free 24-hour cloud recording, and Wi-Fi human tracking. Yeah, super weird name, but I'll explain more what that is soon here. First, let's take a look at what comes in the box. The front of the box shows the camera's call feature, Wi-Fi human tracking, as well as letting you know right away that the Spot Cam EVA 2 works with If Then Then That, Conrad Connect, Amazon Alexa, and Google Assistant. So you should be covered integrating this camera into your existing smart home devices. Like already mentioned, you will also see that it includes full-time continuous recording that is free forever. Well, according to SpotCam. I'll be getting into more of what that means and if it's a feature that you should be excited about. Taking a look inside the box, we are immediately presented with the device itself as well as a quick start guide. Digging deeper, you will see another small box with the power adapter and some mounting hardware. This allows you to mount the camera upside down using the included bracket. You can also mount the SpotCam to the wall. However, I would not recommend this as you will lose some of the camera's field of view. Overall, packaging presentation is decent, but I did want to mention that the power adapter and mounting hardware are in there loosely, so it sounded like something was broken or rattling around in the box before opening it. Rest assured though, everything is perfect and the device itself is packaged safely and securely. The SpotCam EVA 2 is relatively small and would look nice in most homes. However, it only comes in white at this time and it would have been nice if it came in black as well so it would fit in with more decor options and be more easily hidden. Depending on your home, this could stick out like a sore thumb. Now the front has the SpotCam logo and an activity LED, although I think that the device would have looked sleeker if the SpotCam logo was on the back of the device. You can also turn off the activity LED in the app if you want. The speaker is on the back as well as a set button and a micro USB connection for power. I'm not sure why companies still insist on using micro USB. It would have been nice if they just opted for USB-C instead, especially with more and more devices changing over to the standard. Now, on the bottom of the device, you will find a rubberized circle foot that keeps the SpotCam EVA 2 from moving around too much with, you know, moderate pressure, and also protects your furniture from any scratches. Hey, by the way, if you guys are liking this content, make use of that like button and subscribe. Now, setting up the SpotCam EVA 2 is relatively easy. There is a quick start guide included, but you must have Wi-Fi, a smartphone, tablet or PC, and internet access. Plug the included power adapter into the wall and then the micro USB cable into the back of the spot cam. The included USB cable is extremely short at only three feet, four inches long. For a device that you will be placing in different areas of your home, uh, I mean, even on the ceiling, not including a longer cable is a huge oversight in my opinion. I would recommend ordering a longer USB cable depending on where you want to put the camera. If you happen to lose the included power adapter, you can use just pretty much any standard five volt power brick, or if you already have a longer micro USB cable, you can use that too. If you're using a PC or Mac, you will need to go to myspotcam.com and download the installer. If you're using a tablet or a smartphone, you just need to download the SpotCam app and choose add SpotCam and then follow the instructions. I will be using the app as I'm sure that is what most people are gonna be using. And if you do not already have a SpotCam account, you will need to sign up for one now. Once you are signed in, you will need to click the hamburger menu in the top right and click add SpotCam. Go to the device that you own and then follow the instructions for connecting your camera to your Wi-Fi network. Once you're all connected, the first thing that I recommend doing is going into the settings and then go to SpotCam and VR1 at the bottom. This is where you will sign up for the free one day cloud recording plan. For some reason, it is not on by default. You can also pay for a three day to 30 day cloud recording depending on what your needs are. The free one day cloud recording plan is the camera's most differentiating feature, but there is no SD card slot. So without a cloud plan, you will be able to view the live feed, but you will not be able to see the events or record any footage. And this footage will only be available for 24 hours. So if you wanna keep it, you must download the footage inside the app. If you require an additional cloud storage plan, you can purchase for three days for $3.95 per month, seven days for $5.95 per month, or 30 days for $19.95 per month. They also offer yearly plan options, which will save you some money. Now, whether or not you like the cloud storage option will depend on your needs. With the SD cards, you must manually back up your footage and SD cards can fail. It also has an additional cost. 
With the cloud option, you will never miss a new event. However, if you forget to download an event, then that footage will be gone forever. And you can save the events, but I will talk about this more in the event section. There's also the fact that I know some of you don't like having your data in the cloud, but if you don't mind, then it's definitely awesome that at least the 24 hour recording option is free. In addition to the cloud storage plan, SpotCam also offers some additional AI features. These include face recognition, baby crying detection, human detection, pet detection, fall detection, and a few others. But unfortunately, these are all extra monthly subscriptions. The settings menu is where you will go to change most things about the EVA 2. If you wanna have the best image quality, I recommend turning on HD video and changing image quality to high. Change flicker reduction to 60 hertz unless you are in a country that uses 50 hertz. The camera feed quality is good, especially at this price. The spot cam will record up to 1080p HD video, which I think is great for most people. And the picture is clear with decent colors and dynamic range, especially at this price point. The camera can also zoom up to eight times optical zoom, allowing you to zoom in quite close while keeping the image sharp. The camera also does have a night vision mode if there's not enough light in the room. The device uses IR technology, so any low light feed will be in black and white. You can set this to auto, on, or off in the settings menu. Now, as mentioned before, the only way to record events is to sign up for one of the cloud recording storage plans. The alert section is decently robust and gives you quite a bit of options, but most of the more advanced features and useful options are a paid subscription. The free event options are motion event, audio event, and human tracking. You can send alerts for these events to either your device your email, or both. During my testing, I had several false motion events, which gets annoying quickly, and turning on and off a light will trigger a motion event. If your air conditioner slightly moves an open door, there will be a motion event. If a pet moves past the camera, it will trigger a motion event. You get the idea. Your phone will constantly be notifying you of these false events. These events will be placed in the events section where you can view each motion, audio, or human tracking event for the past 24 hours. You can save an event to the My Film section, but it will only store up to about three hours of footage. And beyond that, you must download the video to your computer or phone. You can filter through events by motion, audio, or human tracking, and by any of the more advanced events if you have them. There is also a siren feature that can go off for certain events, and it is pretty loud. Again, this can go off very easily with the slightest movements. Under set schedule, you can schedule when you want alerts to be on, and then under camera schedule, you can set a schedule for the camera to turn off. However, without the more advanced AI features, I think this camera is really only useful for things such as checking on pets or children when you are not home, but not useful as a serious security device. You will receive too many false notifications that is simply better to just turn them off, making the device pretty much pointless as a security camera. With the more advanced AI features, the spot cam EVA 2 can tell if motion is from a person or a pet, and you can even filter for known people or strangers. This will allow you to determine what you really want to be notified for, but again, costs money and is slowly starting to make the $49 price tag less attractive. Once you do receive a notification, it will take you approximately 30 seconds or more for the app to load and to start viewing the event. I think this takes way too long and the camera is not suitable as a real-time tracking security camera. The app also sometimes is unresponsive and needed to be closed completely and then reopened to view any footage. The app is well-featured, but a little clunky and slow for my liking and will hopefully be improved with updates. Now there is a two-way audio feature that you can access by pressing the talk button, but you can only either hear the audio being picked up by the camera if the talk button is off, and then when it is on, you can talk through the speaker on the camera, but this gets frustrating when trying to talk to someone because if you don't turn off the talk button every time you are done talking, then you won't be able to hear any sound the camera is picking up. This feature would work much better if you could do both simultaneously, or if you could just hold the talk button and when you let go, it would turn off. Kind of like a typical walkie-talkie. Below the timeline on the right-hand side is a button that looks like the EVA 2 camera. Clicking this will take you into the camera's motion options. Here, you can pan and tilt the camera as well as make four different presets. The camera can pan 345 degrees and tilt up to 90 degrees. And with the patrol option, you can have the EVA 2 move through your different presets to scan around the room. Human tracking will have the camera track a person around the room and works decently well. It will keep up with a person well, but not very smoothly and makes abrupt movements. It also will not track someone if they are running or moving quickly, which I'd guess an intruder robbing your home would likely be doing. On the bottom of the homepage, you will see Now On Air, which you can use to spy on other spot cam users, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. But really, this is a feature that you can opt into if you would like that will let other users view your camera's live feed. Pretty cool. The Spot Cam EVA 2 comes with Alexa and Google Home integration, allowing you to view the camera's live feed through your existing Alexa or Google Home devices. There are also several competing home security cameras between $30 to $100 with very similar features. 
But I think the EVA 2's main differentiating features are the free 24 hour cloud recording and the human tracking. So with all that being said, and with there being so many different options these days for home security, the space is extremely competitive. And I think your decision to buy the EVA 2 should mainly come down to price and features. At only $49 at the time of this review, the SpotCam EVA 2 has a decent app and features like two-way audio, pan and tilt, and human tracking, and the free 24 hour cloud recording plan is something most of the competitors do not offer. If your main use case will be home security, then the more advanced features and monitoring are a must making the price of this product increase exponentially depending on your use case. However, I still think that in this price range, the SpotCam EVA 2 is a solid choice, and at the very least, definitely something that you should consider. Make sure to check out the full written review on makeuseup.com. There will be a link in the description below. And again, like the video if it helped you and subscribe for more daily tech news, gadget reviews, and more from everyone at makeuseup.com. Again, I'm Jake Bacon and thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.